So I'm at the cabin for 24 hours. I have 12 books to read. I have a lot of research. I want to show you how I do this. I gotta gather a lot so my mind can wander over the coming weeks. Thankfully, I have way more energy for this than ever before because I actually had a private plane fly me all the way up here. So now that I got the private flight to Springerville, I have to drive 20 minutes to the cabin and then I have the next 24 hours to read roughly 12 books. I don't know how possible this is. Half of them I've read before, so it's more rereading it, scanning over it, getting the notes I need, jogging my memory. So it's not as impressive as it sounds. I saw some research recently that talked about the power of mind wandering and how you need silence you need time just to process and you ha never have, you have no idea what concepts can just come together. And so that's what this trip is for. It's, it's gathering and then wandering. about to get pretty cold out so I need to make sure I got a good fire going and just stoke it the rest of the night although we're getting low on the firewood so I got to go get some of that and then research time Admittedly, this is a little difficult because I preached this morning, so I'm really usually tired on a Sunday. If you're a pastor, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I am finished with one book just now. Um, it's kind of a lighter read, so I was able to fly through it. So the series, the theme for 2024 is how to make friends and love other people. That's the big theme that I'm trying to figure out. How do I split up friendship, loving others, in four parts for the four Sundays in January? and then move forward from there. So it's just so fun to me. While I take a break from reading Dietrich Bonhoeffer's Life Together, let me show you how I did this for the Form by Simplicity series. And so here's my Notion document. What I'm doing right now is the gathering part where I'm just dumping a lot of these ideas, like the Simplicity one, although it's done. I'm doing that now for the how to make friends and love other people, and then hopefully segueing to the next three practices of generosity, peacemaking, and hospitality. So I, I'm thinking through all of those things as I'm studying all these books right now. These toggles, this is the messages, so that's when I'm actually done. You can see my sermon notes and the group guides that Pastor Caleb puts together. But here's major points. So as I'm reading these books and thinking through the main ideas, I either come up with my own slogans, my rhymes, my pithy statements, or take them from other people and quote them accordingly. So I make a checklist. I make a checklist of things like, 
in the Swarm by Simplicity series, I said, it's not removal to get God's approval, but it's making space for God's grace. I put that as a checkpoint. I need to say this more than one Sunday. I need to say this all the time. Another one, the quickest way to corruption is to be careless with consumption. Leaders are repeaters. And so I am determining at this moment, what are some of the phrases we're going to be saying throughout 2024? Because this series, again, is setting us up for the whole theme of 2024 of making friends and loving other people. Now we see the rough series outline. I'm not going to undo those toggles because it's really messy. But I eventually came up with the series outline of digital simplicity, material simplicity, relational simplicity, and gospel simplicity. And so these notes under each are just chaos, but that's what I need in order to figure out where I am. That is what I'm gonna be doing right now as well. So reading a bunch of books, gathering a bunch of ideas, anchoring them in passages, and making sure I'm gonna do the exegetical work when I get home, this is broader ideas, some big statements I want people to remember. How am I going to go from point A all the way to point Z? That's my rough series outline. Then helpful articles. So if I ever find something like on the Atlantic or New York Times or whatever, I post it there so that maybe I reference it as an illustration. Now let's go to the quote section. This is mainly what I'm doing right now. I toggle each toggle with the book and the author. And then I put in there the most important quotes, thoughts from each book that I wanna make sure I go back to. And so what's so great is I'm doing this hard work right now of getting the biggest quotes, the biggest ideas from all of these books. And then in a few weeks, in a couple months, when I start preaching this series, I can even go back and see some of these quotes that I found either inserting them into the message, which I am more than happy to do. I love quoting people. I love recommending people to dive further into a topic, but it's also just to remind me of the idea that it was generating and helping me with. The last thing I try to do is a sequence of practices. This was actually taken from James Clear in his book, Atomic Habits. And so I go from very easy, easy, moderate, hard to very hard. And so those were under those three categories that you see on the screen of a digital practice and then material and then relational. And so I'm trying to think through that because I want to give people tangible ways uh, to, to practice these things. So I think one thing as I'm already looking, considering Genesis 1 through 3, how we were made and how relationships are supposed to have proximity. We're supposed to be with each other. A very easy thing, a very easy practice is to say, put a fire pit in your front yard and invite people over, right? Maybe that's not very easy to some. See, this is the thought process. Very, very hard is open invite to your home at all times. Any of your friends can just barge into your house without giving a call. Give people that permission. I don't know, I'm trying to, it's just what I read from Jenny Allen's book, which was helpful. That's the one I just finished. That's what I'm doing right now. Thinking through all of these books, quoting them, dog earing it. I'm gonna put it in this Notion document later and then consulting it later when I really begin to nail down what the message looks like. Okay, I've been up since five without an alarm, just woke up that way. It is 7.30. I now, last night to this morning, have finished four books. Uh, Find Your People by Jenny Allen, Made for Others or Made for People by Justin Whitmell Early, Life Together by Dietrich Bonhoeffer, and then, goodness, I just found it on Kindle last night. It's a David Benner book about like spiritual companionship. Pretty good, helpful. Now I'm, oh, I'm starting to sense gotta connect the dots. And so I'm gonna go for a mind-wandering activity. I will say I'm a bit nervous about my tummy. I had creamer with my coffee. I can't do it straight black. And I could not figure out the expiration date. So I'm finding myself pulling over a lot on this ride because I, I'm telling you, ideas are happening. I'm just mind wandering, allowing my mind to go wherever, but because I've saturated it so much with content, it is connecting those dots. And so, God, I'm so excited. Well, that's cool. My camera won't turn on, and I know it doesn't have low battery. 
Oh good, you're working again. All I've been doing is driving around and taking notes on my iPhone, and now I'm gonna go home, or to the cabin, and write those notes onto that big Notion document that I've been making. I have ideas upon ideas, and I promise you, this is not fake. I think if you've watched my channel long enough, you would know. I would be honest if this thing was a flop. Ah, uh, yeah! Let's be real though, the main reason I came to the cabin was to get my bear back. Um, every Viking feast, link in description, I've done a bunch of these videos. I wear this bear and that's this coming Sunday. It's in a week, so I have to bring it to wear it. So that's my main excuse. Well, I end up finishing six books and I'm capped out. I'm realizing I can't keep reading. I need to be wandering. So I'm just going to spend the rest of my time just, uh, you know, on this little swing and wait for my dad to come pick me up. Comment below if you'd like more of these kind of videos and subscribe, hit the bell, all that dumb stuff I hate mentioning all the time.